Hello everybody. Today I have a, another TKG4. Um, this one, it, the note with it says it has a strange way it resets. Sometimes it'll reset, other times it won't. Um, so I've been looking at it. And uh, let me put this ROM back in. What I get is pin one, two, three, four, five. Here's the reset signal. So I'm looking at this. And there's no signal here. It's supposed to go from low to high. Sometimes it boots. Sometimes it doesn't. But this never goes low or high. If I take this off, sometimes it boots and sometimes it doesn't. But like I said, there is no no pulse on that at all. So this pin six is just floating here. So it doesn't it doesn't go low. It doesn't go high. It's supposed to go low, and then while it runs, it's supposed to be high. And uh, it's just floating. One, two, three, four. It's pin twenty six. Hmm. So let me see where where pin twenty six comes from, where that signal comes is derived from. Let's see. If I look at my schematics, I have okay. Pin twenty six is the reset. It comes. I'm tracing it back. It looks like it comes from pin pin six of one P this LSO four up here. Pin six one two three four five six. Let's see what we got. One two three four five six. And I've got no signal. Let's see. Nothing. Just a flash. So pin five is the input to this LSO4. It's high and it goes low. So this should be inverted. It should start low and go high. And it's just floating. So let me grab a, an LSO4. We'll just jump for this and see if uh, see if we get a signal here. We should on the chip. I could pull up the leg if we don't and just verify it. One, two, three, four, five, pin six right here. All right, it goes high. Cool. So that's going high. Let's see if it's going high on the CPU. One, pin 21, two, three, four, five, six. That's what it's supposed to look like. And it is coming up on the on the game board now, or on the on the monitor. Hmm. That was that's bizarre. Take it off. nothing. Sometimes it boots, sometimes it doesn't. That's just kind of random, isn't it? Okay. Well, so we're going to change out 1P and then see where we are. Let's verify that 1P is connected. Pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so it is. Yep. It's kind of crazy, huh? 
I first turned it on, it said, it said that there was this problem with the reset, and it just booted right up. Booted it the second time, and it didn't. So that's when we go start hunting these signals. Looks like we found our faulty reset. Nice if it's just one chip. It's interesting. The last board I worked on had a had a faulty reset also, but it was for the uh, DMA controller, and it, the reason it was faulty was there was a bad cap. This one just looks like the. Uh, Inverter's bad. That's Chip out. for fun let's take a look at it in our little chip tester and we hit enter not found all right and here we've got the good old four maybe I got that backwards huh Yep, LS14106. Wow. Okay. Four oh nine six. Where's that little chip again? Not bad.
Pro back on. Let's see if we're getting our signals to flip like we think they should. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful. All right. Much better. It's resetting every time now. I like it. Let's look at the monitor and see how the game is. All right. Seems like it's coming up every time now. That seemed like a simple fix. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.